um, thank you for watching today I'm going to show you how to do the installation for vCenter 5.1 update manager so basically um, this is um, continuating from the previous installation of my vCenter 5.1 so here we are um, you can actually install the update manager on a separate server so um, this is actually a de uh, demo so basically it's inside my own lab so I will actually put this all in the same place so just to show you that I have not created any database for the update manager so I will be also creating a user so I've created this script uh, to actually create the database as well as um, the user so I have placed this in my blog so kindly refer to it to use it wise, um, effectively or you can actually create this manually so here I'm just going to execute the script and it will be completed successfully I'm just going to refresh this so that you have a look right you can see the V uh, update manager database is created and I actually created a user called uh, VUM user All right so because the requirement for update manager is uh, to have the DB ownership uh, DBO ownership for uh, MSDB and uh, after the installation you can actually reboot it so I actually um, comment out this reboot script if you need to you can actually apply it after the installation so for the database part, uh, we have completed it. So before the installation, there's another portion that we need to uh, do. So because Update Manager only support 32-bit DSN, so basically we have to go to uh, the SysWow64 to look for the o ODBC. Alright, 32-bit. Okay, so here I'm just going to click on the system DSN and click on Add. Browse to the bottom, typically when we're at the bottom, look for the SQL Server native client. Here I'm just going to call VUMDB. Alright, um, if you have a separate uh, SQL Server, you may do so enter there so mine is uh, basically in, uh, built in on this machine so basically I'm um, just using localhost so fill in the VUM user credential and um, just complete it and do a test data source so we get test completed successfully alright means everything is set up nicely so next, uh, we can follow on to the installation of the Update Manager. So I'm just going to go to my CD-ROM, do the auto run. Okay, so here we are with the Update Manager, click on it. You see that it also requires a .NET which is already done on my vCenter, so I'm not going to install that. So let's just click on install. Okay, I'm going to click next. Next, accept the uh, ULOA. I'm not going to download anything here. Um, just to make things simple. I'm going to use my DSN, uh, DNS name. Alright, so I do not have to trace on uh, IP addresses. And you require a local admin um, user for the vCenter. Alright, I have created the DSN so you can actually see it there once created and we just have to key in the user password for the VUM user which I also created using the script so everything should be by default um, 
Alright, so you get a prompt, uh, you need at least 128 gig, else uh, you can go to to use the sizing estimator, it's actually an Excel spreadsheet to actually size this according to your requirement. Alright, and we'll click install. So this not, should not take too long, so as long as you can come to the install, basically um, you have created the rights for the MSD DB correctly and also the VM, VUM user. All right. So the VUM user is based on the installation doc for the update manager has stated that you require at least a sysadmin or else is a DBO roles for the VUM database which is the update manager database. So the update manager is now completed. So basically what you need to do is go to the machines um, or any machine that has the vSphere client. You just need to log in and uh, under the plugin to actually enable your uh, plugin installation to have the update manager visible inside your C Sharp client. Alright, so go to plugin. So you have to do this on any machines that uh, has not installed this available plugin where you see the update manager. So just click on it to get the installation uh, started. Just click next all the way, accept the ULOR and just install it. So notice once this is completed, you actually move up into install plugin. You get this prom, ignore it or accept the certificate. And this is done and you can see straight away pop up is the update manager tab. Alright, so if you go to home, you should see a new button here, the update manager. And you click on it, you will see the user familiar interface of the update manager. Alright, this end the installation of the center 5.1 update manager.